going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us. Get your favorite drink and join us around the table. You may be in Trinidad, Tobago right now. Get you a nice smoothie and on that beach because we are there also. But you may be somewhere a little chilly still. Falls in the air. Want a nice cup <laughs> yes. of a, a hot apple cider or coffee or whatever you want. But join us around the table. We're back for show number two with Neil Getzlow uh, talking about his book Unmasked that we were going to introduce you to him real in a minute, okay, after we introduce ourselves. But please, while we're going through the show, call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. There's no sense in going through anything alone. And we don't take your number. We don't take your name. We don't take anything, okay? We don't ask you any questions. I've had so many, wow, calls on there, and they feel safe because I don't ask them anything, and you're not going to get a solicitation letter. I'm going on 15 years on the air, and no one has ever got a solicitation a solicitation letter mm -hmm. from this ministry because guess what? God is in control of this ministry and he takes care of this ministry, but he does do it through people. So if you feel led, please do so. Go to our website and help us keep coming in your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm Charlene back to Marion, your God's View host. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Stephanie Besh, uh, we have Kate Tripp. She's sitting in again for uh, Priscilla. We're so glad she joined us. We're very grateful. It was at the last minute. It shows so much to me about people and where they are. If they can come do Global TV Talk Show when somebody asks them and they're ready for that. They're ready for that. We've got to be ready in and out of season because mm -hmm. you never know where what seat yeah. God's going to put you in. That's right. And that's why you got to be ready. Okay, Lana Gardner, shake their hands and welcome our guests back. Thank you so much. Neil Getzlow and Amy, we are so grateful to have them. Their story is so needed. It is like, I mean, right there on the front lines, we have, uh, we could give you the percentage of uh, people, and we're talking men and women of God, not the world. We're talking a high percentage mm -hmm. in the church that are bound with pornography, that are bound and they have hidden lives. We know a great, a, a major man of God for years with yeah. 10,000 church. You all know who I'm talking about. I'm not giving any names that hid it for years. Now, yeah. a lot of people would, would know it, but nobody could do anything because he was such a big gun and, you know. But finally, God said enough is enough right. and exposed it. And, you know, the thing is, is he lived this life that people still didn't want to believe it until it came out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how shocking yeah. it can be. It's shocking. Yeah. So anyways, we're talking about Unmasked. Thank you for joining us. It's their story, an amazing story. He was an atheist, raised as a Jew, bound since nine years old mm -hmm. um, in pornography and um, watching his, I mean, looking at his mom's Playboy magazine. So if you're a parent today, come on. Right. Yeah. Come on. Be responsible. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why, what? What? does a child get a hold of a Playboy magazine yeah. Yeah. from a mom or a dad? And you know, you sew that into their lives and then look what happens. Yeah. Now, I'm, I don't want if his mom or dad or anybody's mom, yeah. you know, we're not blaming anybody. You may they be in heaven know. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, you didn't know. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's the seriousness of what you have around and what your children get a hold of. You understand right. what I mean? Yes. Because later in life, it's going to affect a lot of people. Right. It's going to affect a lot of people. With that said, thank you guys so much. Continue your story. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, phenomenal, all yes. the stuff. And um, Amy, why don't you start off this time and, and kind of go again for those who are just listening. From, you know, he had already lied to you, and then you thought he was going to tell the truth. You forgave him. You forgave him a second chance, and, and uh, he lied. And then it gets to where... You get him born again, and everything shifts and changes. But did that shift or change all the emotions and all the stuff that comes with it? Because we need to help some women out there today. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I was just really skeptical, like, about everything that he said. Uh-huh. 
So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I wanted him to, you know, be born again and stuff, uh -huh. but I... I wasn't sure if he was. But you even honest. questioned that because he had lied so much. Right, mm -hmm. right. You thought, oh, he's just doing this now till he can get by with this, and so right. his whole life don't fall apart, and then he's going to run out and do this again. Well, yeah, that's what I wondered. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's what people, which is valid. Oh, yeah, yeah, people, because yeah. I think people, at least, and when I when I would see people like this who came to Jesus and turned away from an addiction, I always thought, oh, well, that's just. That's just an excuse. Now you're, you've got the you know yeah. the all clear sign. So, Even but yourself. I can now I can yeah. go hide it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But but I think what the difference is, you can. It's one thing to to say it. You've yeah. got to walk mm -hmm. the talk. Yes. yes. Until you start producing those fruits, that's when you can start to right. to really yeah. determine that. It's and then real. that's when she can really trust yeah. you. Yeah. Right. And that doesn't just take sometimes a year. That doesn't take six. Right. That that sometimes yeah. takes right. a lot of working right. out. Yeah. What kind of stuff with accountability did you put in place? He put uh, Live Three Hundred and Sixty on my phone, which I was still like, you can change your location. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I was like, there's ways around all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he did. He put that on my phone. He gave me the password to his phone, to his computer. Oh. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. Yes. Yes, that's yeah. huge. But me, in my yes. mind, I'm thinking, there's still ways around this. Because you know, you're so yeah. right. You know, what yeah. if he gets another phone somewhere that I don't know about? Yeah, right. Right. I know what? All right. this is, you know, these women these are, are probably valid. thinking the same thing, yeah. and they're mm -hmm. thinking, oh, I shouldn't think this, and I'm crazy, and how bad am I? No, this is valid stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, women probably are going through out there because mm -hmm. you do think that. You want to believe so bad. Right. But you know, trust. but there's a difference in someone's face when they change. Well, Do I even told him he looks different to me. Yes, uh, wow. yes, it's true. Okay. The countenance right. changes. The countenance, the radiance comes alive because Jesus is in you, and yeah. it mm -hmm. shines forth. That's yeah. a, that's a real clue. But right. you know, the thing is, is still even with that. Yeah, there has still been lies and cheating and fooling, and yeah. so mm -hmm. it's not always just. Right. You know, the look and the radiance because this is a serious, serious issue that is very difficult right. to deal with. But the neat thing about you is that uh, the power of Jesus Christ literally came in and rocked your world and made you, you shift mm -hmm. from one, <laughs> one person to the next. Yeah. And now it's just Amy, you know, getting over the pain yeah. and the hurt. So you guys can really, you know. And start helping. God wants you guys, as a couple, to yeah. start helping people. Right. Really help people. Yeah. And Amy, you're, you get, you know, I know you do, to trust God. Because God started a great work in Neil. And he will not take his hand off Neil. He will not stop that perfect work that he began. And Neil is on his way. So you just yeah. have to trust God to believe that yeah. God is yeah. molding Neil and making him and you into know, Jesus. I, I think you do do that. Yeah. But what's valid yeah. and what I don't want you to feel unvalidated is that even with all that that she just said, you have every right to feel the way you do. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. have a right to keep hurting somebody or yeah. retaliating yeah. or unforgiveness, mm -hmm. but you have a right, it's valid yes. to feel the way you yeah. do Intense. because trust has got to be built. Right. We're talking this thing was one of the worst things because it's a violation, it's a defilement, yeah. it's a breaking of a covenant with it's God, mm -hmm. it's real. And so mm -hmm. even with all of that, you, you, I, just, I just want you to know, I, I, I feel like sometimes like when, when some of us have been like, you, you've gone through a rape, we've gone mm -hmm. through rapes, you know, you're, you're not validated mm -hmm. because people just say, oh, right. well, you know, you know, and I mean, it's like, and you just feel when someone says yeah. something, you feel like you go through that again. You feel yes. beat up again. You feel raped yes. again. You feel, you know, Absolutely. and so we want you to know this is a safe place at this table. And what Lana was saying is she is a firm believer. Let's trust God, all that kind of yes, stuff. Sir. But she wasn't saying that you weren't trusting God. No, or I that said that. No, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I just, because um, I just took, I, I just seen it like a little shift and I'm just yeah. like, okay, we want to make well, no, sure. I mean, no, like, no, no, Honestly, like in the beginning though, I wasn't yeah. sure if I was going to stay with him. Sure. Right. We were both I, basically stuck yes. together. Yeah. Yes. So. Oh, because you were stuck together with COVID. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was <laughs> off of work for a week and right. then I think they said they were going to be closed for two months. Two months. So I was wow. off of work for two months, and I was like, "What am I going to do?" Right. And I'm in the middle of still working on our house, or our house isn't even ready to be yeah. sold or anything. Yeah. 
you know. So let's get real I, too about the your your sex life now. Yes, quickly. I just want to mm -hmm. say that I think that you, do you have a book that you are writing because I can see that from a voice yes. from a women's point of view yes. going yes. through this needs to be your voice needs to be heard and told. Well, it's and, and, it's and told in here. It's yes. told in here completely. It's, it, but I yeah. feel like. Mm -hmm. Like there is a part that that needs to be unmasked for you yeah. personally, yeah. Women need you and women to need to hear yeah. 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 book. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so. hear your yeah. Side yeah. Of this story. Yes. What of strength this yes. woman yeah. has? She's a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Without Christ, you could have never done. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. She's yeah. Uh, you're, and you're, you're a rock in the able to show the love that you have yeah. for God. Yeah. That you're willing to, to expose to everything share. that yes. probably. 50% of our audience has a problem with. Yeah. That's, well, and that's, you know, the thing, like, for the first year, I'd say the, the most emotion I saw out of Amy, it was all focused on probably on the hurt. Oh, you, know, yeah. I, yeah. you know, I think over oh, the yeah. past couple months, I've seen more, I've seen when we, when these moments have triggered, I've seen more anger, yeah. you know, because there's, there's still, there's still that under there. Like, there's just, you know, and all we can do is just, I think, Remember a few weeks ago, we were, she was forward. really struggling, and um, she just came downstairs and was like, "Pray for me," and, and we prayed, Aww. prayed right Aww. there, yes. right there. Yes. and like, and and then for like, it and it, it was just, it gone like yeah. That, yeah. that. The enemy, <laughs> the enemy couldn't stand it, and so right. yeah. he yeah. took off, and so yeah. it was, um, yeah, it was, it was, Neil, it was awesome. I want to ask yeah. you, as an atheist, yeah, at what point in this story when she said. I forgive you. Did you start leaning into the Lord and recognizing His role in her forgiveness and in the restoration of your marriage? Yeah, there was a it, I, there's a construction process I had to put. You hear a lot of people talk about deconstruction stories today. I had to make a construction story for myself because right. I had no faith. Right. That certainly set me down the path, and um, I read the Bible last year for the first time ever in six mm. months, front to back. I'd, I'd, mm. I'd listen to it when I'd go run. So I'm, I'm getting 30, 45 minutes every day of listening Great. to the Bible. And, and these are keys for yeah. anybody in a yes. right That's here. Right. Just, you gotta, it starts with God. You gotta put him at the center and then you've gotta just get into his word. Mm -hmm. And, but then um, it's, I don't know how to describe it because, but you're, you're like your old life dies, right? Yeah. yeah. And so all yeah. the all the urges and everything that I had in the past, the bondage, it is gone. Like I can wow. honestly sit here and say, I have not been tempted once by pornography or, mm. or sex yeah. outside of my Praise marriage Jesus. since that moment. Yeah. Not yeah. once. Yes. I don't. I, I still watch sports for entertainment, but I am not fanatical about sports. I'm fanatical mm -hmm. about God, mm -hmm. but not sports. Yeah. And that's awesome. that's it, because wow. sports led to going out with friends and drinking. It's just it all plays yes. together. Mm -hmm. And so instead of watching football games now on Sunday, we're watching online sermons. Yeah. Like and so there's just, wow. you know, that's what you got to do and I I like to say it is especially in today's world You've got to cancel your own culture first before it cancels you. Yes. Don't give your culture Good. a chance to cancel you. Yeah. Cancel it first. We, we canceled Netflix. We got rid of cable yeah. TV. Good. All the temptation, all the evil yeah. that, that yes. those things bring, yeah. gone. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's you awesome. You fill yourself up with, it's yeah. like, I, like, if you want to be healthier lifestyle, you go to, and I, I love McDonald's, I love going to McDonald's. I used to work for McDonald's. Do you go to McDonald's or do you go, you know, somewhere that you, you know, is a little bit better for you nutritionally? You don't have it in the house, right? Right. Right. So, but spiritually is the same way. Do I fill myself up on Netflix and I'll binge watch the shows or am I filling myself up on the Word of God? Yeah. And the thing is, when you come to the Lord, like you did, at, I don't know at what age, but uh, whatever age you were. Middle age, yes. Middle age. <laughs> when you come to the Lord, you've got, you've got generations mm -hmm. and, and time of just so much uh, demonic yeah. that you had to get mm -hmm. out of you. You yeah. were just growing and growing and he has grown you leaps and bounds. He really is a miracle working God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have any else way to describe it as a miracle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. There's no way I should be sitting here. I still mm -hmm. crazy like I'm sitting here and just like you Tell wouldn't read or watch anything. No, no. Yeah. Like, she, wow. when I tried to. She would try. They would. We would. She would play <laughs> these videos off. She'd play these videos on YouTube of of preachers um, evangelizing <laughs> and trying to share the gospel with great comfort. To, to great comfort. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yeah. 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 Anyways, 
And I know she, yeah, she'd play it when I was sleeping and try to subconsciously try to <laughs> yeah. get it into my head. It works. <laughs> it worked. Never Must have worked. Boy. It did yeah. get in. Yeah. It boy. did get yeah. in. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I want, okay, you got a question and then I got, I got, I want to go get ahead. back to the go ahead. question because yes. this is very serious yeah. for women out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it should be a truthful answer because it had to affect your sex life the way you felt. I mean, how, help, help some women because after something like that, you find this out. I mean, you're, you're like, I mean, you find out some really heavy how duty do you stuff. Build this back. Is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know it's, um, I don't know, we haven't really had a problem, I don't well, think. Oh, good. No, no. Well, see, well, that's a Jesus thing, too, yes. because when he comes in and heals, man, he comes in and heals. Yes. Well, I'll say, you know, obviously, in the years leading up to it, you know, I, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but, uh, you know, I know that our sex life was non just non-existent, let's just say it what it is, and yeah. pornography had a, a real th sure. impact on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but that's I, the other thing that I thought too. I was like, he like runs every day. He's in good shape. Like, uh, this isn't normal. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. But I'll say now, today, like, um, better than ever. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it's just because you feel. It's, I don't know. It's just different. It's yeah. That's how it is. It's with the way God. the Lord has yeah. planned it to mm -hmm. be. Yeah. So yes. He heals to the uttermost. Yeah. yeah. You know. Born yeah. again. It, yeah. I remember that there was a, a TV show with a bunch of pastors, and they all said the same thing, that with God, he, our sex lives are better. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And, and that's part of it when, when we become saved and we truly turn our life over to Jesus, the old really does pass away. Mm -hmm. And so that intimate, intimacy and that relationship with him right. allows it between mm -hmm. a married couple, right. you know, and, and causes that healing to come you know, into fruition, you know? Yeah. And so mm -hmm. that's that's amazing that God has done that so quickly as well. Quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, that's well. that's miraculous. And living in mm -hmm. shame doesn't oh, allow you yeah, to, to be sing. fully hers either. Right. You're living this double life and you're living under what the enemy has put right. over your life as not a day without shame. Well, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's, that is one of the most important things too that we did, like obviously asking God for help. Mm -hmm. But then also, we, we went to a faith-based counselor mm -hmm. to help talk through some of these issues. Yeah. And what that person helped me understand was that, you know, the first question he asked me was, what did you have to learn to do when you were a child? What's the first thing you remember learning how to do? And for me, I had to learn how to be alone mm -hmm. because I was a latchkey kid, so okay. my mom was working all the time. I was alone. Mm -hmm. And that's, what, that's how the shame cycle starts. I, I was home alone. I'm not good enough to be loved. This is why I'm alone. I'm going to look at pornography. Now I feel guilty looking at the pornography. This is why nobody loves me. This is why I'm alone. And the cycle yeah. goes on, just yeah. continues wow. over wow. and That's over and over again. Mm -hmm. And you've got to you've got to change it from a shame cycle to a, you know, to the positive cycle. And it starts having an identity in God. Right. And that, until I, until I had that, Amen. that wasn't that that was the starting point for how I was able to turn that that shame cycle into a positive cycle which I am love God does care yeah. about me I am I am right. worthy of you know of love I mean really Absolutely. conquering sexual sin and walking in victory you guys are I mean you got to get his book unmasked because he was masked she didn't know at all any of this he was deep into pornography since nine years old come on and then got married and you know of course traveled businessmen so you know there's a lot of stuff but if you didn't see the first show you must see the first show this is yeah. the second we're gonna have a third because uh, it's such a, a frontline issue today in the church, addictions to pornography uh, and all of the things. And Neil, you may not have heard his story, recap, you know, he was addicted, to, uh, sexually addicted, buying women. And then in the book, it'll tell you when they finally text his wife. And uh, because they blackmailed him and she yeah. couldn't pay them more money and more money and more money. So... Anyways, well, now that you know Jesus, was it worth it? All that mm. tormented life, was it worth it? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't like my, I don't, I wish I had a cleaner backstory, right? I don't, I don't like that story. Mm -hmm. You look back on it now right. and it's just yeah, like, how, how could I have done all that? Mm -hmm. How could I have been so blind to, was to what, what the enemy yeah. was doing and how I was being seduced by, my, by the culture I was living in mm -hmm. with everything that I was watching. So that, that part is hard to, 
digest at times, but it's the story I have. It's, yeah. it's what it, like, it's, right. it is what led me to Jesus. So, yeah. right. and I that's have, your history. And, now's your testimony. That's, that's right. 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 Amen. So we, you know, you got you got yeah. to tell history. That's why kids go to school, college. We learn history. Absolutely. We learn all this history so that we can and we live can learn in this from now. it. Yeah. Learn you from know, this. Yeah. and and I want to say too, Amy, that j you had said you always felt like something was there. You just didn't know what. And I have learned to um, through the Holy Spirit just to pray until I have peace. But what I love is once you know the Lord, there's a discernment that comes in whether we understand it or not. Mm -hmm. You're a new Christian. What does this feel like? I don't know why something keeps coming up mm -hmm. in my spirit. But I just want to say, commend you that that you stood on that knowing mm -hmm. like there's got to be something, even if you didn't say it all the time, but you knew. And that, that communication with the Lord on that, he's faithful to bring truth in because the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I just want to say if there's somebody out there that is in this situation, whether it's the man or the woman, mm -hmm. and you just can't settle something in your spirit because nothing adds up, pray in the Holy Spirit until you have peace yes. and, and ask for the truth to be revealed. And that may sound scary, but once the truth is revealed, healing can take place. Yes. That's the only way is when truth is present, mm -hmm. then healing can take place. Yeah. And then you get a story of the testimony. Yeah, it was all brought you know, to the light. Brought yes. to the light. And now you get to see a man and a woman coming together the way they should, praying mm -hmm. together, reading the word, um, uh, accountability, mm -hmm. you know, and allowing the Lord to, you know, an intimacy, intimacy restored. Yeah. So, you know, there's something to that. And you know, um, the, the, the biggest thing is, is I'm, well, you said a lot of things. <laughs> so good. The biggest <laughs> thing is, and then I go, wait a minute, there's a lot of big things in what yes. she just said. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't pick up one, but I did have one on my tongue, and then I just yeah. thought, wait a minute, it's always good. But anyways, she, we're talking to Neil Getzlow and his wife, Amy, about the horrific uh, life that he led and man so set free now he was right. atheist, mm -hmm. atheist raised as a Jew and was hidden in this sexual sin buying women and their stories powerful and listen and just like uh, Stephanie was encouraging you if you just tuned in listen it yeah. works yes. okay it works Neil got set free. Their marriage is getting set free, mm -hmm. and it's it's well in the way. There's just got some trust up, and you know, when mm -hmm. you when you learn things like that, it's like. And they even they even said to you, God, there, there was their their, their um, intimacy in the bedroom is fine. You know, listen, God mm -hmm. can do it. And there's many of you, like Neil just said, he just felt like, you know, you beat yourself up, and you're trying to you know like the devil's probably right there look at the look at the computer do this do this do this and so then you guys beat yourself up because you know you're lying every day to your pastor you're lying every day to your wife you're lying mm -hmm. every day to your friends and your kids or whoever it is because you're in this deep dark secret and so I can imagine how we felt I mean any of us if we hit yeah, things when we were little yeah we just think oh I want to tell mom worst. I want to yes. tell dad Some, I, I want to tell yeah because yes. it was so it's so heavy on yes. you when it's a non-truth and like you said right. when it's a truth then it can be uh, dealt with when yes. it's brought to light people can be healed mm -hmm. but this is a real well, serious story and you can get their story in unmasked you can yeah. get it at neilgetzlow.com Amazon but if you go to his website and get this book it's both of their stories in this book mm. and if you get it there they, they give five dollars off of each book to sex trafficking so what? here we go go ahead Neil. um I just lost my, oh, my <laughs> you know, you know I wanted back. to yeah. ask Amy um, obviously you know we said you're a rock mm. and you fought the good fight of faith Man, did you? well what yeah. do you think was paramount in your fight in your battle, in your war, mighty woman yeah. of God. Yeah. What was like one of the key things you think was? Uh, uh, I think it was a mixture of things. Like I told Neil, I was like, I remember our pa my pastor at the time, now he's our pastor, but um, I'm speaking <laughs> on the importance of forgiveness. Yeah. Um, when, when you said the Meisners yeah, came in. Yeah, there was a couple that came in to speak who had sort of a similar story, mm -hmm. but they were already Christians. And she had an affair for like two weeks. Mm. 
and um, they had I don't know three three kids I think already. Um, anyways, it was with a younger guy and I think somebody in the church. And she said not only as she ended the affair, but then she found out she was pregnant. Oh, oh brother! Oh. And then he's That's you know talking hard. about him forgiving her. And then that he ended up raising that child as his own. Wow. Wow. So. Oh, my goodness. With that said, we got to go into part three. Listen, this was part two. <laughs> uh, I just thank you, uh, Neil and um, Amy, for being so honest and so good because it's going to help people. It's going to help people. This is going to help people. So we did show one, show two, and uh, we are going to uh, come back next week with show three. Please tune in. Uh, please have your friends tune in. Uh, it just... it. This is such a big deal, uh, the percentage that people are bound in pornography and sexual sin, whether it's alcohol, whatever. If you need uh, set free today, call on the name of Jesus. That's what we're here for. Listen, every one of us up here have a history, and Jesus took us just the way we were, and we were all a mess, okay? A mess. And he doesn't want to wait. You know, the devil always tells you, well, no, nope, God don't want That's you right. too big of a mess. It ain't going to work. I mean, mm -hmm. you're just a mess. He wants your mess. He wants yes. you. He loves you just the way you are. Yes. Do not wait to clean up. Just surrender your life today. Just say with your mouth, confess, believe in your heart, merge those two. And God says, you're saved. You say, forgive me for my sins. And, and some of you, I know, cannot even say things like that. You're so broken. You just have to cry out. And he hears the cry of your heart. He knows what we say before we say it, okay? And so he knows if you're crying out and saying, yeah, I want what, what that lady's saying. I want you, Jesus. He knows. You know, you don't have to say some perfect prayer, you know. No. <laughs> You just don't have to. And I make sure that I say that because people say, well, I didn't pray that and I didn't say that correctly, so I'm not saved. Yes, you are. If you called on the name of Jesus, everyone, it says, everyone who calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved, is saved. So you are saved, okay? Call those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. Let us know. Let us know about it. 7729-PRAY is at the end. And listen. We want to help you in any way we can. Don't be ashamed. If you need to get set free, you do not have to be ashamed. But the biggest deal of getting saved, you've got to get baptized in the Holy Spirit with fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. It gives you the power to walk this thing out. That's right. The Amen. Holy Spirit will raise you from all those dead places. He'll breathe on your heart when you need to get debris out. He'll breathe on it when you need the love of the Father. And I'll tell you, the Holy yeah. Spirit is what will bring truth because he's the one who leads and guides you into all the truth of the Bible. That's right. He's the truth revealer. That's why you need them. So you need to get baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. All you do is ask, just like you did with Jesus. And I'll tell you what, your life will never be the same. <laughs> Please go to our website today and get an anointing oil or one of our products. Helps us keep coming in your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It helps us. And maybe you just want to partner today, not buy something. Just partner with us, okay? We need your help today to keep coming in your home and around the world. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. We love you. Goodbye. Going around the globe for the...